So here's a line directly from the S1 that Uber filed with the SEC. While we aim to provide an earnings opportunity comparable to that available in retail, wholesale, or restaurant services, or other similar work, we continue to experience dissatisfaction with our platform from a significant number of drivers, in particular as we aim to reduce driver incentives to improve our financial performance, we expect driver dissatisfaction will generally increase. Okay, so there's that. Um, not the greatest news for drivers, um, but if we delve a little bit deeper into the S1, we also see multiple times that Uber will, they're saying that they need to continue to offer these incentives in order to grow their business and stay competitive. So what is it? Um, are these incentives gonna go away or be reduced? Or are they gonna stay and, and be offered more prevalently? And what about driver rates? Um, are they gonna play with those rates again? Are they gonna lower them? So in my opinion, they're gonna need to continue to offer these driver incentives to attract, motivate, and retain drivers. <clears throat> Uber already has a high driver turnover rate and they would exacerbate that situation by reducing these incentives or removing them altogether. But this S1 is basically explaining their business model and everything about their business. It's explaining to shareholders that this is what the business looks like currently. They have to offer these driver incentives in order to motivate drivers and, and stay competitive. Um, so the, that's what the document is explaining. So it's basically telling investors that if they wanna turn a profit, they might have to get rid of these driver incentives, but that in turn might spike and increase driver dissatisfaction. And they're also saying in that document that drivers are already dissatisfied. So they're saying drivers are currently dissatisfied, and if we remove those incentives, they'll be even more dissatisfied. This could, like I said, again, this could really exacerbate the, the driver turnover rate. And as far as rates, um, I can't see them directly lowering driver rates again. Uh, I could see them playing with the rates, playing with the per mile per minute rates. Um, again, we see there's there's a huge disconnect. There, there can be a huge disconnect from what the driver gets paid and what the passenger is paying. So Uber might continue, they might change the passenger rates, they might spike those, and driver rates will stay flatlined at what they are. Um, we've had videos where we've explained upfront pricing, how Uber may charge the passenger what they think they'll, they'll pay as opposed to what the per mile per minute rate should actually be for that ride. So that disconnect may grow wider now that Uber's gonna be a publicly traded company, but I don't see I don't see them lowering driver rates again. All right, so here's my take on Uber and Lyft for that matter, getting to a level of profitability. Um, Uber currently loses billions per year, and that's because they're, they're subsidizing a lot of these rides, they're offering a lot of driver incentives, um, and as long as drivers are a part of the business model, Uber is not gonna be profitable. That's just my opinion. They are looking to a future of autonomous vehicles. That's where they see the real money being made. And that is still years off. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. So in the meantime, they need to try and build a network. They wanna try and build this network so that when autonomous does happen, they have a huge network of cars, they have a lot of reliability and service, so that they can turnkey that, and once those autonomous cars are there, people can rely on that service. But until then, us drivers, we're still gonna need to be paid f fairly, we're still gonna need to be offered incentives in order to motivate um, and uh, retain drivers. And one positive note that you probably all are aware of by now are that Uber is offering those cash bonuses similar to what, Uber, what Lyft offered when they went public. Um, Lyft only offered a 10K and 20K uh, t ride tier bonus. I think they offered $1,000 to $10K, uh, $10,000 to $20K. Uber offered drivers with even less than $10,000 with $2,500 or $5,000 rides. They offered um, $100 and $500. And also just recently, um, the, this probably is, doesn't affect many drivers at all, but drivers that have 30,000 rides or 40,000 rides get major cash bonuses with the IPO. Um, they're offering different more levels than Lyft did, so this is really cool by Uber to do this. They didn't have to, uh, so kudos to Uber. So what do you guys think? Uh, any takes on the IPO that we may have missed? Um, leave a comment below and let us know. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe, and drive safe. Thanks.